Thorne, I, I have a, I have something for you that you might find interesting. What if I were to tell you that there is a strong possibility? Oh God, come on! Don't that next year in League of Legends, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that as we switch to, of course, the three split model around the world, that yeah. all major regions might only have one stadium final a year. Fucking hell. So even like LCK is going to be down to one. Oh, that's cancer. <laughs> what, what, what if I told oh. you that that's a possibility that is being discussed right now? Here's why I hate <laughs> that so much. Because, bro, one thing I always appreciate about Koreans is they make every league final a stadium event. Yep. Even as I say in the past, if it's just renting a warehouse and putting a bunch of plastic chairs down. One thing I've always appreciated, every OSL, MSL, ESL, all of them, they do like a proper fucking final thing. So I was just, you wouldn't have that for an LCK split is whack, dude. That I was whack. just there oh. at the spring finals that were so fucking good. Remember how everybody was just saying, oh, the production, oh, the stadium. There were like 18,000 people at the uh, the Olympics yeah. Gymnastics looked Stadium. Looked as well. Looked really good. It, yeah. it was amazing to be there. I'll just tell you, I was there. It was great. And maybe we don't even get that spring final next year because of the three split system. And they're just, you know, they're budget cutting like crazy. And they oh, might just know. be moving towards the one stadium event a year. Which, by the way, Thorne, think about this for a second. When I was started casting... Before they implemented the league system, when we had the three tournaments, champions tournaments a year, we yeah. had stadium finals for all of them. Yeah, we had yeah. three stadium finals a year. So you are telling me that 10 years ago, an independent company could put together three stadium finals a year with less viewership and also not directly run by Riot Games. And OGN themselves publicly stated that only about 50% of their costs were actually covered by Riot and the other 50% were up to them to figure out in terms of sponsorship to run those events. So you're telling me that with less viewership, because remember, LCK is breaking viewership, all-time viewership records like all the time now, every split. It's like, here's a new viewership record. Now you're going to tell me that Riot itself can't do three stadium finals a year for all three splits when it could be done 10 years ago by an independent co tournament company. And Dude, remember, guys, to get mad? This will make you get mad. I just looked it up because I'm good with memory of VC, right? Bro, even NLB finals used to be in a stadium. Yep. They're like play, th mix Smaller of the semi-pro yeah. and the lower level. Yeah, even those ones used to sometimes be in like a theater or something like, what the fuck? Now we're just going to have nothing for LCK. How can we have a whole split and it just end in a studio? What is it's this? Just, it's just studio finals and uh, LEC shields for everybody, guys. Fucking hell. Probably not LPL, but... Get me out. <laughs> That's also how insane League is going to get, Monty. Because we're going to live in a world where the best regions don't have, like, a final like that. But then, like, some fucking ERL or, like, Turkish League has some, like, look at this stadium with 15,000 people. What are, how have we gotten the incentives wrong again? Like, the, <laughs> why is Trovi not in the stadium with the fans? Not some fucking TCL player. Like, what are, the joke there would be uh, some washed Korean in TCL gets more stage time than Trovi on the best team ever. You know what I mean? Like, what's so, going on? What are we doing? I will say, I don't what think that. It, by the I way, Monty, it, doesn't this show some sort of sea change in Riot, though? Because this mixed with the Saudi thing, they're just pulling back on the esports. Event. They just don't want to spend money on it they're pulling, anymore, right? Thorne, they're pulling out back on everything. And I will say that I don't know if this decision has been finalized yet, sure, but it, no, is, sure. it is definitely getting kicked around. So right. why I'm saying it is because I don't fucking want it to happen, guys. Oh. Um, because it is ridiculous when you can actually fill a, a nearly 20,000 person stadium for a spring final that uh, as oh, far as I'm aware, yeah, the as far as I'm aware, they've that. sold out every final ever Absolutely. in the history yep. of LCK. So, yep. uh, they sold out all the ones I was there for when we did three of them a year. I can tell you guys that much. And that was 10 years ago when the audience was smaller than it was right now. So I don't know. I think, I think I'm disappointed and i'm really hoping it doesn't happen because that is one of the core parts of korean esports and it's always been what's one of the most exciting things is those big epic finals but riot's been cutting the budget everywhere guys and you know this because they laid off a fuck ton of people hey thorn do you know the the new ceo of riot uh do you know what his former job at riot was i'm curious if you actually know this no idea come on hit me with it 
CFO of Riot. So it turns out they put the finance guy in charge, and then all of a sudden, here come all the layoffs. Here comes Chris all the margins, cut and fire everyone. Yep. Of course, of course, yep. yeah. So, so here comes the former CFO. He's in the CEO position now, and all of a sudden, that's when the layoffs start. That's when we see all the budget cuts to esports. It's it's only going to get worse, guys. And frankly, like if you've been if you have been around in the scene long enough, you know how that this is how esports die because it just accelerates you know the death of the esport because it, it, it all of a sudden people have to believe in the product because the games are nothing without the packaging that makes the product cool and if you slowly oh. strip away at all of the production that makes the packaging compelling that tells the stories then that's it then no then nobody gives a shit anymore and your viewership goes into a death spiral so there you go um, it is super disappointing, but I mean, that's, that's where we're at, I guess, with the industry right now. Like at this point, there's like a better chance for league to be epic. If we just run like an off season tournament, that's like a show match in a stadium. Like the joke is we might have to save league. Maybe we do through our company. We get funded sometimes and just do that. I mean, the gross thing is Thorin is like, maybe Carmen Corp is actually better than riot because they're willing to run off season tournaments with like team yeah. one and international teams. <laughs> and by the way, I'll tell you another thing as well. If riot's going to do this to the real domestic leagues, then fuck off stopping people like Carmine Corp from running off season tournaments and exhibition things. Like just like, here's the, here's a crazy idea. If you yourself can't do it and you're fucking up and you can't invest the money, then get the fuck out of the way. Why someone competent does it? Like let them actually cook me. Like they actually know how to engage a fan base and get people in a stadium and get them to want to watch the match and buy the... How about learn from them? That's a crazy idea. Like, I, not everything they've done is negative. Like, I think what they've done with the fan base... Look, I don't like the fans, but I tell you what, they've done a very good job engaging them all, mate, and, getting, sure, yeah. and building up that brand loyalty and brand identity. They've done a mega job. That actually is something people should learn from. Yeah. So, big bummer is, is what I would say about that. I am desperately hoping that it doesn't come to pass. But let's just say, given all of the budget cuts and the way that Riot's going and the fact that they have this excuse now to kind of, um, you know, get rid of big... All right, I've got a solution. I've got a solution. Uh -oh, boy, all, all regions' finals are held remotely in Riyadh. Deal? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's a stadium. It is a stadium. We'll just have every it's also K file the, the next week time. have the LPL file there. The next week LEC file there. Yeah, just, just have yeah, them right. all same, there. Same just stadium, there. you know. <laughs> everybody there. from all over the world flies there. I'm sure, yeah. you know, I'm sure the Saudis would love that deal. Just everybody goes to Riyadh for it. That's right, what they want. What you anyway. can do. You can have them all in the same stadium, but then just to like over exaggerate that like it looks different. You can have them like you know, they literally wear like the Korean traditional dress when they come out, like <laughs> LEC people just dress, I don't know. <laughs> Like Later, Hosen? basically, yeah. <laughs> then there's retrition again. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I was. I have not been happy to hear some of these things, um, and it, it makes me sad because I just had such a good time going to a league final, and it brought. It made me actually really happy about esports again for a little while because it was so much fucking fun to go to that, and the the match was so epic, and you know the crowd oh, was sure. so into it, and the production was really good, really good on that final too, and everybody's saying, "Wow, look at this compared to LEC." It, it, this is classic Riot. It's like, look at this compared to LEC and LCK Spring Finals, neither of both of which were in studios, and of course Riot doesn't think to themselves. Well, how do we make those better? They think, let's destroy that LCK. Let's destroy the Korean thing instead. <laughs> it's like, we don't. Eh, those other regions didn't need that. But we should cut this, too. That's that's what we should do. Now, you notice they never do do the opposite. Like I say, like, just learn from the thing they don't know. <laughs> Riot's whole thing's like, oh, my fire engine's broken and yours isn't. Give me that here. Now yours is broken, too. Well, Brilliant. I Thanks, mean, Riot. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> the, the, their treatment of... The, L, the, the Korean scene has been so disingenuous the whole time because you remember OGN had 100% of the days and then Riot said, oh, wait, uh, we want to bring in Spo TV because competition will make the broadcast better. That was the logic, right? Is yeah. that having two broadcasters will make them fight. What, what happened? Oh, they just took it over themselves. Where's their competition now? Oh, I guess the competition isn't necessary to make it better. So why did they give half the broadcast to Spo TV? Why did they kick out OGN? Hey, I thought three splits a year of tournaments was a bad idea. Are we just going back to that now? Is that except worse? Because now we don't even have potentially stadium finals for all of them. 
It's ridiculous. Like, it, it, like, basically, there is a real world where, in spite of significantly increased viewership, that LCK is literally worse next year than it was 10 years ago in terms of hype, production value, formats, tournament circuit, everything. Now, how oh, is that sure. fucking possible? It's just been getting... It's just been getting pulled apart over time for no reason. I also agree with you as well. I don't know how... Like, here's the problem. It doesn't make sense to run esports as some sort of luxury entertainment product where actually you were losing money to look awesome and epic and be in stadiums and show off all this, like, media stuff in order to hope that people would invest in the dream, like you're saying, and build it up and gradually one day move towards... Profit. It doesn't make sense to then come in and go really cynically, like, right, ah, oh, but manage the budget and really cynically... Because then at the end, it's just what you've just said is the factor of how it's going to be bigger, looking bigger. It's going to be the opposite. You're going to shrink, get smaller. Yeah. Less, it's going to look less serious. And actually, at that point, who is going to invest? It Why is the is death spiral. Gonna, isn't it's it just going to die off? Yeah, yes. it's going to die off at that point. Yeah, It is obviously the death spiral. Um, you know, and perhaps Riot wants it to be that way. They want to put Val push Valorant to whatever new games that they are pushing. Right. Um, but you can't really say that this esports stuff is a priority when viewership for international events and everything is up. It's also possible that they just don't give a fuck about domestic leagues anymore and they just want to do more international events, in which case... Why couldn't we have done that earlier too, right? It's just like everything that we've been saying for years was the right path forward and that they have just finally realized that, but we just lose the best 10 years possibly of this game that we could have had. You know, it never had to be this way. It never, ever, ever had to be this way. And people were telling them it didn't have to be this way. Uh, and now we just arrive here because it's desperation time, not because people actually realized that it was, you know, the worst thing for the game the whole time. Also, just like with LCS and LEC, you're going to end up devaluing some of the championships because if people yep. remember which well, years were in the studio, they're not going to be counted as epic anymore. Like, one of the things about LCK, Monty, is, like, absolutely that finals environment has, has stopped people winning before and changed the outcome of the result and made people feel pressure. Or sometimes the other way, I mean, sometimes people have risen to the moment and been fucking better than normal. Like, that's what I like about the finals. It has, like, a, like a magical auric effect on the people playing. You don't want it to just be in the same studio where, like, the last players teams play their games like that's kind of whack and also by the way it's supposed to also be kind of like a prize for the players as well to get to play in the finals like to have that different environment to see the by the way i'm sure if you're a pro who's never been in the finals just the walkout when they call your name and you get walk up and that's like half the fucking like thrill of it right there that's something you compete for you dream of that you don't dream of just being in the same studio for a match like oh well that was the finals like, brilliant we've gone back in east what have we regressed we've regressed 10 years more than 10 years, to be fair. No. <laughs> I like, know, what next? Do we just cut even more costs and just play it online? Like, what are we going to do next? <laughs> That'll be the next move for fucking yeah. LEC. Yep. Once you play it online, who cares? Yeah. Yep. No, you're totally right. Uh, so if we, only we... Riot had an awareness mode, Monty, where they could <laughs> listen to other people interrupting what they were doing. You know, that would, would not be the dream in any you way. Know. Well, maybe they're turning on their awareness mode now, uh, Thorin, to I, a certain okay. degree. But like, wait, 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 wait. We couldn't hear you this whole time. We hadn't had the latest iteration Before. of the everyday right. earbuds. But now we can listen to the fact that, wait, what is that? You want more international tournaments and less domestic competition? Well, here you go. Oh, you want the Saudis to pay for it? Oh, no, not like that, right? Oh, they, God damn it, they turned it off again. <laughs> Too good. Um, I mean, the joke is at this point in time, like, Riot's going to send out Jill Biden to explain what's going on. Not that. <laughs> not half decent joke. It's up there. Hey, good job, LTK. You played all the games, and you did get to the end of the season. That was a good thing for everyone. And what did... Thorin, do lie, lie, boy. It's the the clown, the clown political world that we live in now. Without going into a whole digression, I will say this one, just because obviously we can have our rapport. That is so fucking weird to me because when I was young, right, bro. The basic assumption when you watched like a political debate, like the presidential one, was like actually both. Pe like I actually do remember that, like Obama, Romney. Every both people would be like pretty sharp. They'd oh be, yeah, like, throwing barbs. Like you could tell it. Like, yeah, some of it comes through the earpiece on maybe, the lines. Maybe some, some of it's, like, level responding. of respect for your opponents, yeah. some classiness you would, you would to it. <laughs> 
by the way, that's one thing I actually, for real, it's a serious point because I'm not making it specifically about politics that both sides do this. That's one thing I think is whack about modern politics. When I grew up as a boy, I actually used to really respect in America that you did kind of like, you know, in, you know, in British Parliament, you famously can't say like, yeah, this shit, you have to go like, the honourable gentleman is wrong. You have to always <laughs> treat them with a modicum of like basic dignity, don't you? They used to actually do that in America, guys, for real. Like you, were, you wouldn't just say everything the other guy said is a lie. They're all fucking corrupt, evil pieces of shit. Like you would just like battle over policy for fuck's sake. I, I mean, I don't even know how you make fun of that debate, Thorne, because it basically was just satire of itself. Like, I don't understand was, how you It was like an SNL skit, wasn't it? Was it was like an like SNL skit. It was crazy. It. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you had done that SNL skit 15 years ago, people would just say it's too implausible, wouldn't they? Yeah. Be like, There's no way it'd be like that. <laughs> yeah, that you're pushing it too far now. You made it silly at this point, you know? Yeah, exactly. How about you? <laughs> what, a, what a time to be alive. What a I time know. to be alive. I, know. I, know. I just don't even understand show. how these could be the, the choices that it's like, what the I'm hell? Sure <laughs> see more cool funny interesting clips based on topics from my content well subscribe to this channel then or you know be a pleb and don't